Welcome to CSGO Solo Dads, where we help you to use your utilities to the maximum benefit of your team when you solo queue in matchmaking and have no idea who you are getting as teammates, when you don't know how and if they are going to use utilities. So you are going to have to use your utilities in such a way that it benefits the team as a whole, keeping them alive for longer and increasing your chances of winning. So today we will be going over Mirage Bombsite A and even though this is a solo tax video I am going to start you off with three team smokes as you will find in matchmaking that these smokes are pretty well known. So usually if you say for instance that you'll throw a smoke to this jungle area over here you will find somebody else in your team pitching in a smoke over here to ticket booth or up there to stairs as these are the three smokes that are pretty well known. So let me quickly teach you how to do ticket booth, stairs and the jungle smoke. So let's start off. For the smoke to the ticket booth area, you simply come and stand against this diagonal wall over here. You aim to where this beam over here is sticking out from the wall and then you simply do a jump throw. Now personally I am not a fan of jump throws uh, because usually you need a lot of precision but for this one you do have some room for error on the jump and the positioning. But if you aim just to the right of it, do a normal jump throw, you will now see that it's going to be bouncing nicely into this area and it's going to be smoking off that area. The second smoke that you need to know is the one up onto stairs. So how that one works is you simply jump up onto this corner here, stand against this beam, find this first beam over here, you do have two, so it's the first one, find the square that it's making, aim through the middle of it and simply do a left click throw. And as you will see, it's going to bounce nicely onto stairs, smoking off the stairs area very effectively. The third smoke that you need to know is this one to jungle over here. and. How you get that smoke is you simply jump up here, you run around this corner, you find this beam between the two windows, you stand against it, find this brick outcropping, the left side of it, halfway up, just to the left, and do a left click throw. As you will see it's going to bounce in there very nicely, blocking it off, denying this opera playing in this window area jungle the opportunity to orb you as you come out of palace or cross onto site. Now for the solo tags. As usual let's go over the positions. That is gonna be the biggest problem for you when you push out of these stairs. So when you get out here the biggest positions you have to worry about is this guy with his orb or any rifle sitting here at ticket booth as he's gonna see you easily pushing out also you can see you pushing out palace very easily um, the same goes for these angles on site as you have this guy if he's if he's sitting here he's isolating these angles so he can play both this is also a very popular angle to play but more aggressive and then you also have this angle over here and this guy sitting this jungle area he can actually spot you pushing out of palace or when you push out around also stairs up top so preferably one of the best smokes we can throw is if we can land it somewhere around here. What this will do is it's going to allow you to push out without being visible from CT or any of these angles on site. Also if you throw it a bit more to the right you won't be visible when you cross around the back to the side for that guy. And also you will be able to push up to here without being visible from CT as well. So you can spread out nicely onto the site without being visible. The only problem you are going to be left with is when you come around here. You can have a guy either at the bottom or up top. So it's a 50-50 for the pre-aim. You can pre-aim there and get shot or you can pre-aim there and get shot. But we'll solve that with a molly. But first of all, let's do the lineup for the smoke. So you simply run against this metal door here. Take out your smoke. You once again find a brick outcropping in the middle, you aim in the middle of it at the top and then you follow it straight up to this line that's running from the windowsill between the power line and the roof, that line over there. So you take it up, all the way up 
and you just do a normal left click throw as you will see now when it bounces smokes off all those angles nicely for you to push out and also when you push out onto site you are not visible for that guy so you can come around here and take site control however you are left with this 50 50 that we spoke about and for that we're going to use a molly so when you start from this angle as soon as you see that door you know you are out wide enough you simply aim at that dark line against the wall and do a running throw as you will see it's bouncing onto stairs sometimes the fire even drops down here and what this does is it means that you no longer have the 50 50 because you don't have to pre-aim up top you can only pre-aim this guy standing this corner now just one word of advice about that molly if you have a guy playing this angle he's gonna be able to see you when you cross as you can see that's about chest height so he has quite a deep view into into this crossing so you either have to do a quick jump cross or if you want to play it a bit safer you simply crouch when you get here as you will then not be able to see you so for the full routine you simply run up against this metal wall find the top of this brick aim straight up to where it intersects that line over there do your normal left click throw take out your molly jump or crouch so you see that door aim at the dark line do a running throw bounce it off the wall only need to pre-aim that angle and now you can see you can push out to here without being visible you can also push onto site in relative safety come for the bomb plant another option you will have as a terrorist either as part of a two-pronged approach where you are pushing up connector and you have guys coming from T spawn or maybe you have friends going into window from ladder room or by boosting or jumping and you push out here onto site taking it from these angles the biggest problem for you who is pushing connector is going to be these three angles over here one two three as all of them have pretty decent angles on you when you push up there your head will be visible when you step on the first step so all these guys have a very nice shot at you and to make matters even worse this is like a giant barrel so you are the fish in the barrel that they are shooting at also you have this problem that you have a 50 50 when you pr if you pre-aim over there the guy can be there or vice versa and also if you are in the middle you have a 50 50 to both sides so i'm going to show you two smokes and there's two arguments for that the first one is if you smoke off this whole area over here by throwing a smoke somewhere here you will have very much safety when you push up here um, but the problem is if you have somebody pushing window especially an opera that's good on your team you will not allow him to take any shots onto the site however there is an argument it allows you and him to push out onto site together where maybe he rotates into here and one goes over one comes from below but then you lose the advantage for somebody coming window and so in that case what you want to do is we're going to throw a smoke a bit deeper around that area because now when you push out you only have this angle to worry about this angle over here especially but you still allow your opera who is pushing window or the other guy to use the advantage of this off angle and get his picks onto site so first off i'm going to show you the smoke when you have somebody pushing window so you simply stand against this pillar over here turn around you aim at where these sticks come out of the roof and you aim it up to more or less just above the height of that leaf you'll see it moves around a bit so it's yeah, just that area over there do a normal left click throw and it's gonna bounce nicely there in between that area smoking it off allowing you to pu push off only worry about the left hand side and this guy that is pushing out window will be able to get his picks onto site for you with the off angle you can use your molly to cancel out that position over there by simply aiming it at the top of that pillar over there and doing a running throw as you will see it's gonna land nicely and it mollies that one off now the second smoke is when you're pushing connector alone 
or if you are two guys pushing connector but you don't care about blocking off the guy from windows angle so for that we come over here we find beam number one two three four beam number four we stand on this t-junction over here you aim at the seam of the building where that wall and that wall connect you take it straight up to the second power line and you simply do a left click throw as you will see it's going to bounce nicely into place smoking off this section which allows you to safely push out without worrying about those three angles you can also just pre-aim and clear these angles and for an incendiary what you can do is you can pick these outer angles and then simply bounce your molly off that wall forcing anybody sitting at the back here out of their position and then push on to site and that's it for your solo tact as a terrorist okay as a CT when it comes to defending bomb site A or any bomb site there's not really talk about um, using your utilities to the benefit of the team as your team will usually be split up maybe two guys come A one go window and two go B so the only way you can really help your teammate when using your utilities is by delaying the terrorist charge thereby buying your teammates more time to get into position or to rotate earlier when you see the bomb so the three CT positions I'm gonna go over for this method is gonna be this one a ticket booth gonna go over playing this jungle window area and stairs over here entrances I'm gonna cover that the terrorists can come from is palace T stairs and connector so I'm gonna show you how to smoke these off and molly these off from all the positions so if you are playing this position over here at the ticket booth then if you want to smoke or molly off that area you simply take out your smoke grenade stand against this corner here aim just above that um, antenna in the background and do a left click throw as you will see it's going to bounce there nicely smoking off that whole section there just be careful when you do smoke off in this area that if the terrorist decides to push the smoke most likely they'll reach this area without you being able to see them um, so just be careful especially if you're opening from this position if one manages to get up and across he can shoot you through this gap over here uh, so just keep that in mind for the incendiary use exactly the same lineup stand here aim above um, aim above that antenna just walk a bit back and do a running throw and that's gonna also gonna molly off this entrance area nicely to do palace um, to smoke off palace it's pretty easy you just stand against just behind this box aim just to the left of um, that beam that is coming out over there and you simply do a left click throw as you will see it's going to bounce onto here nicely smoking off this entrance uh, for the incendiary you're just going to do exactly the same thing just stand behind the box aim to the left of uh, that beam coming out do a left click throw and it's going to land up there and it's going to incendiary off that whole area now if a guy is pushing connector you don't want to peek wide and maybe get shot from a terrorist on catwalk or one pushing up here so you simply peek out till you see that shadow on the wall over there you aim at that little corner uh, take out your smoke or your molly do a running throw and as you will see it's going to bounce in there nicely smoking it off same goes for the incendiary just another incendiary that you might want to use is the one where before it, you take position here or if you are rotating to a different position is you simply run and when you reach this area you bounce it off the inside of that arch what this incendiary does it bounces in quite deeply and it's gonna molly off the stairs and the timing of this is usually if they rush it you will catch them in the fire doing some damage so just keep that in mind now if you are playing this um, window jungle area over here where you are opening into palace or you are picking them as they are running onto site um, first of all if you want to smoke off palace you simply just stand against this wall over here you aim at the top of that white brick big brick that's sticking out there do a running throw and as you will see it's going to bounce in there nicely do exactly the same for the incendiary as you can see it's also going to just molly off that area if you want to do the arches um, you do not want to throw this one too far 
as what's going to happen is if you do let's say for instance you aim up there you do a left click throw it's going to bounce in really deep and it's not going to be an effect of smoke so if you want to do the smoke you simply aim at that um, broken piece of wall there where the plaster is coming off do a shift walk throw you'll see it's going to bounce nice not too deep it's going to smoke off this area What's nice is if they push out through the smoke, that guy will just have a, the end of their movement to warn you that they have pushed out. As for the incendiary, for the incendiary, you simply want to aim up top there at that dark line, do a normal left click throw, and that's going to just mess the fire in there nicely. Also, just another. Um, incendiary that's useful from here is also by aiming at that line if you suspect someone has pushed into sandwich you just aim at that line also where the wall is the plaster is coming off do a normal left click throw and as you can see it's going to drop the fire in here burning that guy out now if you want to smoke off or molly off this area from the same position you simply aim below the arch and do a running throw gonna bounce it you know just in front of it nicely and it's gonna block it off same goes with the incendiary as well now the last position that is very popular as a CT is the stairs position over here um, this is also a very popular position to play so if you want to do palace smoke it off just aim on this blank part of the wall here in the middle do a left click throw you will see it's gonna actually bounce around the corner pretty nicely what's nice about this is um, it actually allows you to get closer without getting into the smoke as well for the incendiary you do exactly the same just aim at this black part of the wall do a left click throw and it's gonna bounce in there nicely if you want to do um, the T arch T stairs one way of doing it simply is simply just to aim at this height of the beams and do a running right click throw like this as you can see it's gonna bounce in there nicely smoke it off without going in too deep as for the incendiary what you would like to do with the incendiary is to simply just aim you know at the just above these bricks do a left click throw and that's gonna molly it off nicely now if you quickly need to smoke off or molly off arches when you're playing this position simply just aim at that beam beam to a right click throw and get off the angle you'll see it lands nicely in the middle and the incendiary you just aim and click as if you are firing a bullet in there and it's gonna do the same and that's it for your utility usage to delay the terrorist charge on CT okay when doing the retake as a CT uh, also using your utilities for team benefit is going to be a bit harder as you will usually only be one or two CTs left um, so I'm gonna go over the retake here from stairs from jungle area and through connector um, if you're retaking as a CT from stairs you have this problem that when you come around this angle you have a 50 50 with some terrorists can be hiding they can be hiding at the bottom or up top so it's a 50 50 as well as to the left or to the right if you over peak it a bit so you have this unholy triangle here that you want to cancel out also the problem is when you push out onto side to here you are in a crossfire from these angles and those angles over here so ideally we want to smoke off this area over here even a bit more backwards so that we smoke off here as well because the smoke like that will it will still be visible if there are guys on top but you don't have this 50 50 so you know when you push out to aim a bit upwards and because that area will be smoked off as well you will be able to push through here uh, clear out these angles before engaging onto site avoiding the crossfire okay so the way we do this is it's important that before we line up for the smoke we just clear this angle over here just this one just to make certain there's not a terrorist hiding there that's going to see you when you line up for the smoke but line up for the smoke is you stand 
basically in the middle of this wall you'll see there's one two three four brick pavings you stand in between them you find the middle between these beams and go upwards it's basically in between where this beam ends and begins and you just go straight up above above this about this distance above um, this brick outcropping so you simply come up eyeball it and you do a left click throw and now as you will see it's going to bounce and bounce again off that one and it's gonna smoke off like we discussed so now when you come out you can aim this angle you don't have to worry about these bottom angles or that angle at the back swing around clear all these angles and then swing around onto site for the diffuse as for the incendiary that I would use with that is I would simply just as the smoke blooms and you've peeked out to clear the top just do a running throw because that will burn off these back angles pushing out any terrorists hiding there so when you come around you will see them bailing and you can get the free shots now when you are pushing this jungle window area over here when you come out once again you have this problem with the 50 50 somebody sitting at the bottom over here or up top and then also if you overpeak the angle a bit you also have this 50 50 when you push out where they can be to the right or to the left even if you get to here right left so you also this is a problem area for you because you also have this angle up top to worry about so if you can get a smoke somewhere around let's say here it solves the whole problem of that back area you'll still be able to see if there's anybody up top but you can actually clear these angles in relative safely and then isolate these angles one at a time as you push around so the lineup for that smoke is simply to come and stand on this t junction here on these beams here find a second window on the right hand side the right side of it you go up over the just over the second power line because you want to throw it over there do a left click throw and as you will see now when we get through here it's gonna bounce nicely bloom smoking off that area still allowing you to pick these guys up top clear these angles out nicely swing around isolate the angles and then you can either push around or you can push up here clear them out and go there's two incendiaries you can hide uh, you can use sorry depending on the strategy that guys are using either when the smoke blooms just do a running throw through there once again just to molly off those backside angles or one of my personal favorites you stand against this wall you aim at that dark stripe over there and you just do a normal left click throw as this will molly off this guy sitting in a sandwich area now what can also happen as a CT is maybe you are coming you are coming through lowers through the tunnel or out the window so you'll be retaking from this side of middle or you can be retaking from this side if you were busy going around back when they planted the bomb you come here so you still have that problem again just keep in mind that if you smoke off this whole area over here your friend if you have a teammate who's pushing out of window here through jungle will lose that advantage that he has for picking from an off angle so just discuss with him maybe beforehand if he wants you to smoke off his approach or if you want to throw it deep just to refresh your memory again if you are coming from this side just use the smokes that we had on T side where you stand against this pillar just find where the sticks start and just aim up above that leaf do a left click throw this is the one if you want to leave the lane open for your friendly window to shoot out of so as you will see i'll block off those angles and this guy will still be able to get his picks in and you will only have to worry about this left hand side angle and these angles up top if however you are solo retaking find beam number one two three four stand on this t side junction Find where these two buildings inter uh, these two walls intersect to make the seam. Follow it up to the second power line. Do a left click throw, and it's gonna bounce nicely into the middle. 
smoking off the whole approach but that actually blocks off this guy's um, pick, picks that he will be able to get so keeping that in mind I'm going to show you two smokes from this side as well so you simply come and stand in the middle of this wall you'll see nicely I hide these three bricks find the middle one stand against it find a corner of the building aim up to where it intersects that point of the roof and you do a jump throw and what this is gonna do it's gonna bounce in there quite deep so it's smoking off that 50 50 angle that you have over there and this guy will be able to use the off angle for picks and you will have to pre-aim this angle or from exactly the same position if you are doing a solo retake maybe stand against it find a sunny spot between the flower bed and the shadow go up to exactly the same point where it intersects that roof line just do a normal left click throw and as you will see it's going to bounce nicely into the middle takes a while gets there and it smokes off this entire section allowing you to push out and then you can either come around when the smoke clears or you can come over top how I would however use my molly in this position if I'm doing a solo retake is after I've cleared these angles and I've picked those two angles because you don't have a friend in window you don't know if there's a terrorist hiding back here so you simply take out your incendiary aim there do a running throw off that wall and that's gonna block off this whole area here pushing a guy off that angle and that's it for the retake and that's it for the video guys and girls i really hope you learned something i really hope these lineups will help you to just win that extra round or two or three just to get the winning momentum remember to leave a like to hit that subscribe and bell button as these videos will keep coming and leave a comment in the section down below if you have a question as i really like hearing from you guys till next time go practice and get good